Well, in the summer of 1843, he preaches a very famous sermon based upon Revelation 14 and 18, the second angel's message, entitled, Come Out of Her, My People. And Joshua V. Hines will publish that in Rochester a short time later. Fitch argues in that, in, in that sermon, and it's published widely. And he's, he's making it very clear that this is, we're not coming out of Babylon just because they reject the Second Advent doctrine. Oh, no. It is definitely connected with slavery as well. He says this in his sermon. Why are we going to talk about Protestant, Protestantism as being part of Babylon? He actually says, well, everybody knows that the Catholic Church is Babylon, so we don't even need to talk about that. But how do we know that Protestantism is part of Babylon? This is his answer. But how is it with Protestant Christendom? Christendom, how is she occupied? Is she not engaged for her own aggrandizement, aggrandizement in every species of merchandise ascribed to Babylon, even to slaves in the souls of men? The spirit of oppression reigns in greater or less portions of the leading sex unrebuked, and a man may sell or buy his fellow man and then sit at the communion table or even minister at the altar of God and by the mass of Protestant Christendom go unreproved. This, my friends, led to the massive big wave. All the Charter Street Chapel conventions are, are gathering the swells of come out in coming out of Babylon. But when this man preaches this sermon, they come out in mass quantities by the thousands. By the th this, my friends, is why we exist today. This is what leads to our denomination. We are coming out of those evangelical churches because they are supporting slavery and every other sin. Every other injustice, you got to get out of Babylon now. This is why we exist, my friends. We have forgotten it. We have too long preached that it is just because other Christians rejected the Second Advent doctrine. My friends, that is not what they taught. They said it's because of slavery as well. And they actually sometimes talk a lot more about slavery than the, than the doctrine. Because what mattered was actual souls of people, bodies and souls. They are being killed and martyred. They're dying. They need rescued. If your doctrines does not have practical implications, it doesn't mean anything. If it does not lead to actual betterment of people's lives, it means nothing. And the Adventists of our, her of our, of our pioneers heritage period, they got it. Have we forgot it today, my friends? What are we doing now?